What is up you guys and welcome back to another video. In this video I'm going to do a quick review of some of the products that I bought from the Running Everyday Uniform Collection. There has been a few products that I've dropped from the collection earlier, um, a few everyday hoodies and so on, but then a bigger collection dropped a couple of months ago and I picked up a couple of pieces. Also, I forgot to mention that, for those who don't know, Running is the brand of YouTuber and Instagram fashion guy Magnus Running, and I believe he runs the brand with two of his friends, Mike Key and Rory John. So yeah, if you didn't know, now you know. So in this video I'm just going to go through uh, a few things about the pieces that I bought, uh, like the quality, the fit, I'm going to do some styling, maybe talk about some comparisons. But um, all in all, this is just going to be a few impressions that I have. So overall from running, I've bought uh, four pieces. And the first one I bought was the stone colored coat, which I bought about two years ago. I think this coat was about 160 pounds and I've been pretty impressed with the quality. Um, it's not mind blowing, but it's good. It's good enough and it's decent for the price and I've gotten a decent amount of wear out of this. Only thing about this and a couple of the other pieces that I bought is that they're white pretty much and so they get dirty easily but that's difficult to do anything about. I'll just do a quick styling and show how this fits a bit later. This is the second piece from running that I bought. I got this earlier uh, this spring and I bought it used so I paid about 75 pounds. I mainly just bought it because I was looking for a grey hoodie um, and I was looking for like a certain fit and I felt like this hoodie was gonna match that fit. Only thing is that this is a double XL so it's a bit too large for me but I guess it just gives off like a slouchy relaxed look and so it works if I'm wearing maybe a more oversized fit. Now what I noticed about this was that I was pretty happy with the quality. Um, I like the sort of inside weave that they have the material, like this loop back type of weave. And so I just felt like this had a good weight to it and a good structure and yeah, that made me more inclined to buy more running products. I should also mention that this is from the earlier running drop and not the recent one. So there is supposed to be some slight differences to this hoodie and the newer ones, but I haven't noticed a lot really, but I'll come back to that. And then these are the two items that I bought from the most recent running uh, release. So don't think that I bought every one of every single item because I cannot afford that. But because of a lot of the products are made of the same materials, I can still kind of compare the material quality uh, from these to a lot of the other products as well. So first up is this hoodie. I haven't gotten too much wear out of this because it's been summer. And this is a relatively thick, heavy hoodie, so I feel like this fits more for spring, autumn, or winter. But I feel like I've still worn it enough to give sort of an impression of it. So yeah, generally I'm very happy about the quality, and I'm happy about the fit. It's kind of like an oversized, relaxed fit. And I feel like this extra large fit me better than the other hoodie, because I got that one in a double XL, so it's a bit too big and slouchy for me. But this is just regular XL and yeah, it just fits me better. I also noticed that they don't have double uh, XLs anymore. They just sell up to regular extra large, which I kind of understand because I assume that there aren't too many people that would buy the double XL when the fit is already kind of oversized and relaxed. But still, I guess it's sad for the big boys out there uh, who would cop the double XL. But yeah, I imagine the regular XL is gonna fit most people. Now, the slight differences that I noticed between the two hoodies uh, isn't really something that I noticed personally. It is only something I noticed when I googled and tried to find out what the differences were. And the only thing is that this is made of a 470 grams per square meter material, while this is made of a 420 or 30 gram per square meter material. So in general, this is supposed to be slightly heavier than this, um, but it's not something I noticed. Uh, the only thing for me is that this hoodie is already a size bigger, so it's obviously heavier than this anyways. So it's kind of hard to directly compare uh, the two. 
But I think the most important thing is that I feel like the quality is very good anyways, especially for the price. These suits retail for 90 pounds. So yeah, I personally think that's worth it if this is kind of the type of look and style that you're going for. And both are also made in Portugal and made of 100% organic cotton, so that's good. I should also mention that the material on this hoodie is the same material that is on the crewnecks and the sweatpants, so I imagine the quality is very good all around. Then I have the shorts, which also retail for 90 pounds. These are made of a 300 gram per square meter herringbone cotton twill, I think. And it's supposed to be the same material that the fatigue pants are made of and that the pleated pants are made of and also that the smock jacket is made of. And honestly, same thing goes here as with the hoodies. Um, I'm very happy with the quality here uh, so far. I have actually been wearing these shorts quite a lot this summer, especially since I mostly have chino shorts um, from earlier and I haven't really been too much of a fan of those. So yeah, this is just a very nice alternative. And in case you wanted to know, um, I feel like the material here is kind of like an in-between between a chino material and a linen material. So it's kind of light and works for most days, um, but it's also more sturdy than like a linen type of material is. So I generally feel like these should hold up very well and hold up well over time. I should also mention that I'm wearing a medium in these uh, as compared to the extra large in the hoodies. This is mostly because I have very skinny legs and because I prefer that my shorts aren't too long or too wide. So yeah, that's just up to personal preference, but these also fit kind of large. So yeah, that's honestly all I have to say about the products themselves. Um, I'm very happy with them. I feel like the price is good and I feel like they're worth it. And I see myself picking up more running products in the future as well. I'm very curious to see what kind of shoes they're gonna release, for example. But I also have a few requests for what I would like to see. For example, if these pants were made in a black color as well, I would have bought those too. And maybe also a gray color. Uh, I would also really like to see the mohair cardigan come back in stock. Uh, that's also a product I've been looking at that I really like. But I did however see that it seems that they're gonna produce the hoodies and the sweatpants uh, in a brown color as well, so maybe I'll have to consider those. And yeah, so here's just some styling footage of the different products. So yeah, that's it for the video. Um, in general, I just uh, really enjoy what products I've bought from running. No, I'm not sponsored. I have seven subscribers. Uh, thanks to the four people that have subscribed since my last video. 
But yeah, um, there's no sponsor for people with seven subscribers, unfortunately. Um, if Running does want to sponsor a person with seven subscribers, then feel free to hit me up. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all there is to it. Thanks for watching. Bye.